Hey guys, today I am in one of South Australia's oldest and most haunted buildings, the old Adelaide Jail. Pretty much got it to myself, so I'm going to take you for a walk around. The old Adelaide Jail was South Australia's first proper correctional facility. It was operational from 1841 to 1988. A past full of murder, disease, suicide and execution has trapped countless souls inside the walls of this prison. A total of 45 executions occurred at the old Adelaide Jail. Inmates executed here were buried within the grounds of the prison, marked by just their initials and the date of their death. John Balaban, a sadistic serial killer who killed at least five people, including his own wife and six-year-old son, was amongst those put to death. His body is buried within the prison's walls besides other murderers. Yet his spirit continues to roam the old Adelaide jail. It is thought he could be the dark figure seen lurking near the interior walls of the hanging tower. Elizabeth Woolcock was the only woman executed at the old Adelaide Jail and the only woman to be lawfully executed within South Australia. She was hung for poisoning her husband with mercury. Today, Elizabeth's guilty verdict has been questioned since her husband's work as a miner exposed him to mercury for a long period of time. Many believe she was innocent, meeting her death for a crime she did not commit. It is thought her soul continues to wander aimlessly throughout the old Adelaide Jail. Former staff members are also said to haunt the prison. William Baker Ashton, the Adelaide Jail's first governor, is rumoured to still occupy his former upstairs office, the place of his death. Today, footsteps are often heard pacing, shadow figures have been sighted, and animals have reacted strangely to William's empty office. The newest building of the prison is also thought to be its most haunted. The ghost of an unknown former guard is often seen still making his rounds here. Footsteps and the jingle of keys are often heard echoing through the empty wing. During the jail's operational years, prisoners feared this building and many guards refused to do night shifts in this section due to paranormal occurrences.
the spirit of a little girl has also been sighted numerous times, usually walking through the yard before disappearing into the guard towers. Countless other reports of cold spots, disembodied voices, and invisible physical attacks such as scratches and strangling have also been reported throughout the prison. Would you dare visit this very haunted place? Thank you for watching Amy's Crypt. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment and subscribe. You can also check out more content on my website, amyscrypt.com. We'll see you soon.